The Adams Family 4KP Pinball from Ad Games is arguably one of the best looking home arcade products ever made, in my opinion. But it was released with one fatal flaw. The marquee game, The Adams Family, had flipper lag. This video, we're going to take a look at my history with it. We're going to look at The Adams Family running in three ways. The original native table. Then we're going to look at The Adams Family running in OTG. Then we're going to look at the brand new release of At Game's new improved version of The Adams Family. Let's check it out. We're going to start at the beginning with Papa Brad's review and first impression of Zen's version of the Adams Family on the 4KP. Let's get it started. Huge thank you for At Games for getting this out to me. I am part of the Skype influencer group for At Games. With that being said, I just want to point out I paid for this with my own money. And my review is my own opinion. And at Games had no oversight on this review. The power of this machine is that it is a online connected machine that will have a store that will have literally hundreds of tables that you can buy and play on the pinball machine. With that being said, I have to start off with a bit of a negative in that the Adams Family Pinball has some lag in the gameplay. Ad Games has assured me that they will continue to work on this and decrease this lag moving forward. I have to go on the state that the table is in right now. And right now you have some flipper delay, which throws off the gameplay. Um, when they get rid of the lag, I'm gonna be totally happy with this version of the Adams Family. Um, but the lag, the flipper delay, needs to be um you know fixed that's my opinion and we're going to move to the other tables this is the only table that has any of these issues um but you know of course it is scary because of course this is the first zen table so there you go Ball trails, okay off. here we go we're starting a quick look at the settings of how I'm going to test the tables. They're all going to be set to the same. No floating scores, no ball trails, no uh, visual scores. All that's going to be shut off so we can really see the table well. And I'm going to show all three versions. I'm going to show the original build of the Adams Family that shipped with the 4KP. We're going to show OTG on a high-end gaming computer and we're going to show the brand new version of the Adams Family that has just been released and we're going to compare all three one thing you'll notice all three tables do look really good in my opinion but you're going to see a dramatic increase in playability going from the first build of the Adams Family to OTG mode. You'll be able to see the improvement in score mainly. And that's totally because the table feels better. It's easier to make the shots that you need to make. But visually very well executed. But gameplay wise, it's lacking. Oh, that looks fantastic. Yeah, you know what? This is not Let's even see. like direct video through a capture card. This is just Brad videoing his screen with his camera. That's you it. can definitely see the three dimension the third that dimension. the board, yeah, is, is way clearer in 4K. Yeah, which makes which, which pops out that third dimension compared to the uh, the standard. ALP, and this is just through video, like we said. But yeah, you can definitely notice. Yeah, I don't think I've been able to get to 100 million yet. Uh, I've been working my butt off on that table, but haven't gotten that far yet.
Okay, we're gonna look at OTG. Now we're gonna take a look at OTG mode. You can see graphically, maybe a little bit better lighting. The most dramatic you, thing you see immediately is the reduced flipper lag. When you watch my gameplay, you're gonna see that I'm making a lot of the shots. It's gonna be one quick game. In my opinion, a lot of what makes a great virtual pinball table is feel. It has to feel right, it has to feel realistic, and you have to be able to make the shots with the physics of the uh, virtual pinball table. It has to feel, I would say it's more of a feel than anything on these tables. And we can look at the graphics and the quality of the graphics, but for me, a table doesn't feel right. I can never really get behind, so that's my opinion. Uh, the initial build, you know, it was it was good looking, but it just didn't feel right. OTG, if you have the right computer, is an excellent experience. I would highly recommend it. Bally's new Adams Family pinball machine has been designed by this same team. And once again, they've managed to create a game unrivaled in terms of challenge and innovation. Inside this box, you'll find Thing, the right-handed member of the Adams Family. Not only will Thing grab the ball right off the play field, but the correct shot sequence will activate another new feature called Thing Flips, when the game automatically tries to shoot a ball into the swamp across the play field. Using artificial intelligence, the game will learn to get better and better at this shot, eventually achieving a level of proficiency several times that of even the finest players. During multiball, you'll experience the power of the Adams Family, a mysterious magnetic force strong enough to draw coins from players for years to come. The stars of the Adams Family movie, Raul Julia and Angelica Houston, have provided speech for the game. So man. And when you figure in the proven popularity of the Adams Family theme, the movie has thus far grossed over a hundred million dollars, then you've got a real coin collector on your hands. Look everyone, we have guests! The game starts with a skill shot to Thing's eject saucer, worth two million points initially, and an additional one million for subsequent shots. The object of the game is to explore the Adams Family's mansion, open their bookcase, and steal their treasure. To explore the mansion, a player should try to send a ball to the electric chair or the swamp kickout while the yellow light is lit. This will relight every time a ball is sent up the center staircase and returned down the right flipper lane. The mansion's windows each hold a different award. The window currently lit will be advanced by sending the ball into the game's jet bumper graveyard on the left side of the playfield. Some mansion awards are kind of traditional, like quick multi-ball and light extra ball. But others are all Adams Family, like the Mamushka, which elevates all playfield values for a short time. Then there's Fester's Tunnel Hunt, a time sequence where shots to the game's three tunnels result in generous point awards. When all 12 awards have been lit, one final trip to the charged electric chair will score 50 million points, light the specials, and begin an automatic tour of the mansion. 
Look, darling. To get into multi-ball, you must first take the opportunity to knock on the family's bookcase. Five knocks will spell greed and clear the way for a shot into the vault. Balls can either be locked there or at two other locations, Thing's eject saucer and the swamp. Once two balls have been locked, the third ball is sent to either the vault or the electric chair and multi-ball begins. During multi-ball, the Adams Family power can be seen over the portion of the play field, sending balls in every conceivable direction. <laughs> this old man! See the power! A jackpot will be scored when a ball is sent to the train wreck target during multi-ball. Another ball sent to the vault and a super jackpot will be scored with a shot up the left staircase. Double jackpot! If a player fails to score a jackpot during multi-ball, he can get another chance by sending the ball to Thing within a specified time period. Thing will take the ball and multi-ball will be restarted, giving the player another chance at a jackpot. off it wouldn't be complete without some ad games patch notes the wait is over the re-release of the williams pinball for the adams family comes with the following improvements and enhancements on september 12th 2024 an improved version of the adams family will be released in addition a new firmware will be available with additional features and bug fixes be sure to check out the release notes for all the details some of the highlights include reduced flipper latency reduced audio latency, and the ability to install tables to Flash Drive X or FDX, but this only works with the improved tables. As of this video, the improvements are exclusive to the Adams Family and the new Universal Classics Pack, which will be available on the same day. Improvements to each table or pack will occur according to our release schedule. Now let's start up the Adams Family table with the latest improvements and running the latest firmware. The flippers are noticeably more responsive than in previous versions, making the gameplay much more enjoyable. But how exactly does it compare? Let's find out. Everything is now set up for testing the flipper latency on the improved version of the Adams Family. We'll run the same test we did earlier by making quick flipper presses, but I'll position the camera on the latency tester so you can see the 30 measurements as they are being collected. I'll fast forward through most of them so we can check out the final results.
Pressing Q on the UI makes the final calculations and writes them to the log.txt file and then exits the application. We took a total of 30 samples or collection points. The average flipper latency was 94.77 milliseconds and with 5.68 frames of flipper latency. I'll take these numbers and apply them to the website and we'll review not only the Adams family but all existing Zen tables as well as their values. But before we do that, some have indicated that in order to improve the latency, the resolution for those tables would need to be lowered. In this side-by-side -side comparison, we have the before improvement gameplay on the left and the after improvement gameplay on the right. In fact, the resolutions are the same for both. We'll talk a little bit more about that in just a moment. Until all Zen Studio tables have received the same latency improvements, there is something I need to make you aware of. If you start up any improved table, then exit, start one that has not received the improvements, you will encounter micro stuttering if you go back to the improved Zen table. Here's an example. The solution for now is to power up the machine and power it back on, then launch the table. Again, this is only temporary until all tables have been improved. Zen Studios and Ad Games are working hard to deliver all tables as soon as we possibly can to avoid this inconvenience. Improved tournament participation. You no longer need to beat your local top five scores to participate in tournaments. So all those updates. If you purchase the pack, you're going to go update it in App Store X. If it is built into your machine, I believe it's automatically going to tell you to update if, if you have Adam's Family Pinball. And of course we have a firmware update to go along with the input fixes, which is pretty much to be expected. I'll let you read this at your own leisure. But the main thing I found interesting is that there's a known issue where you'll get some micro stuttering interference from not yet released tables only when you're going back and forth between tables. So here's, here's the patch note. If you launch a Zen title that has not been updated with the latest latency improvements, exit it, then launch a Zen title that has been updated with the latency improvements, you will experience micro stuttering while playing the updated table. Restarting the machine will resolve the issue. This problem is temporary and will no longer occur once all the Zen titles have been updated with the latency improvements. So within the next five weeks, all 23 Zen tables will be replaced, and eventually this will be a non-issue. This is just a temporary issue for now. So before people say they added a bug, it's not really a bug. It, it's it's going to eliminate any frame stuttering on the tables. So it's actually an improvement. But we have to wait for every table to be updated. But uh, before it gets called out that way, because that is a... That is a false image and a false picture of what's going on. Okay, here we go. We're starting. A quick look at the settings of how I'm going to test the tables. They're all going to be set to the same. No floating scores, no ball trails, no uh, visual scores. All that's going to be shut off so we can really see the table well. Okay, so we're in the table. We're going to check out the Adams Family. Okay, so we're in the Adams Family. We're going to check out the new version. Here we go. Have a nice swim. Out the new version of the Adams family. Let's... Okay, so now we have the brand new version of the Adams family. Let's check it out. Welcome,
Players should try to cause train wrecks by repeatedly sending the ball to the stand-up target near the back of the play field. Train wrecks will award big points as well as hold the player's current graveyard value. Let's go, old man! The graveyard value is collected by sending the ball into the swamp. It is increased with each jolt from the jet bumper graveyard. Players can score five times the graveyard value by shooting the ball into the swamp with Thing's Mini Flipper. But since this shot is so difficult, it's probably best to let Thing shoot it himself. After all, it is his flipper. To activate the innovative Thing Flips feature, shoot the ball at the center staircase ramp after it has been returned down the Thing Flips return lane. The ball will be returned to Thing's Mini Flipper, but this time, the machine will automatically fire the ball across the play field. The player need do nothing but watch as Thing tries the shot himself. The Thing Flips feature will eventually learn to send the ball into the graveyard more than half the time, much more accurate than even the best players can do with this very difficult shot. There are four possible extra balls. The first and second are achieved by repeated shots up the center staircase. The third extra ball is lit from the mansion, and the fourth after multiple train wrecks. Extra ball is always collected by a shot to Thing's eject saucer. On the right... I don't know if you 
is sent to a new location, the Thing Flips feature will eventually learn the new shot regardless of the But operators can speed up the process by going to the utility menu and executing the new location function. All previously learned data will be cleared from memory and the Thing Flips feature will be ready to learn a new location. Adam's Family is destined to become another classic ballet game. It has all the elements of a timeless collector, technical innovation, an expert design team, fidelity to a proven license, and rules with an emphasis on value for the operator. New players will soon become dedicated players, driven deeper into the game by a need to experience the entire Adams Family pinball story. Moviegoers have spent more than $100 million establishing the popularity of this unique theme. Now, operators have a chance to establish their own collection records with this unique game. The Adams Family.
It's absolutely incredible what At Games has done. The difference in flipper latency has made this game night and day. This was the promise of having a good virtual pinball version of the Adams Family is now fully realized. You can see with the shot accuracy I'm getting, it's just night and day. Shout out to At Games. Zen Studios and Magic Pixel for all working together to bring us this massive improvement in gameplay to the Adams family, which of course is a stock table. So now we're going to have an amazing experience when we play Adams family. I expect the scores on the leaderboards to skyrocket with this improved shot accuracy. And I have to really give it to Ad Games. This is a massive update. A massive improvement and a complete rebuild of this table. It's night and day. Uh, before this, I never was able to even break 100 million. And now, I mean, sky's the limit. Well done, At Games.
Taco Man. night and day. I would never get this kind of score on the old table. The shot accuracy is so much better. I am 100% happy with this now. This is night and day performance. the flipper lag. What an incredible experience. What an improvement. Absolutely amazing. Now I can play Adam's Family the way it's meant to be played on the machine stock. Fantastic. I would say this is as good as OTG. Absolutely amazing. Okay, you've done it. You fixed the flipper lag. Yeah. 